Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys um, a pretty cool tip you guys um, can basically do on Fortnite to basically disable a feature that you don't even know is running on your game. This feature can be the difference between like a good 20 frames or even 30, or even more on your, if you have like a bad processor or a bad GPU, for example. And um, what, this, what this feature is, it usually displays right here underneath show FPS. It's a new feature Fortnite just added. And some of you may have it, you may already know, you'd see it right here. The feature is multi-threaded rendering and it will literally just be displayed right here and it'll just be similar to this box and it'll just be on or off and yeah it would say allow multi-thread rendering and um yeah what you guys would just have to do is take it on and off if you guys want it on or off but um i guess a lot of you guys either don't have it like myself or don't know what it is and want it explained and after this, after like towards the end of this explanation you guys may want to turn it off and i'll show you guys how to do that after this so if you guys do have this you probably have a pretty good processor this um feature right here you guys are going to need um a six core processor so you need two threads in basically every core so yeah you're going to need like a six core processor or above and you will have the option i have a four core processor but i've still got a good processor i have an i7 700k which is 4.2 gigahertz and it is generally a pretty good processor you can actually add it in by the going to the game settings and i'll show you guys how to do that but then i'll also show you a quicker way to disable it or enable it but by default it is enabled what multi-fed rendering is it's based what multi-thread rendering is, it's basically running multiple threads with a single process of your processor or CPU. So, for example, one thread would be for playing sound or audio and the other one would be for the general visuals of the game. So, what multi-thread rendering does, it runs them all at once, which can cause things such as a lag and um, that's why you usually tend to have it enabled on a better processor and then you have the option right there. But, um, before I do not have an added in for everyone if you don't have a 6-core processor, so I'm going to show you guys in this video how you guys can enable that and actually, um, um, change it or take it off i do advise you guys take it off and um if you have like if you don't have the option just disable it and i'll show you guys right now how to do that so guys now i'm over my desktop i'm going to show you guys um i do rec yeah but i do recommend you guys keep this off that's why i'm going to show you how to disable it right now it does allow you to keep a more stable frame frame rate overall so yeah um but i have it generally like always enabled but what you guys want to do type percent add that percent um in this little search bar right here or you can open the run command and then type percent add that percent right there what you guys want to do go back to app data go to local um fortnite game save config and windows client you want to then go to um game user settings if you have it on read only just untick it and apply and then open it out and then you guys want to look for where it says multi-thread rendering so what you guys can do is go to edit and do find and then just um type in the word multi and you gotta look for it right here fuck okay now boys fuck okay well, that's a big oopsie. I actually don't have it on this one because I just remembered that I actually took it off. So, yeah, guys, I have a different game user settings to usual. I actually changed your mind to fit, like, have exactly what it needs. And I just took it off completely. I forgot about that one. But, yeah, you guys should have it. If you go to edit and um, find and just type it with multi, you will find multi-thread rendering. It will say false just like this one. It will say false. You guys want to change it to true and then press save. But, um, yeah, I actually don't have that on here. So, yeah, I'm just going to cancel out of that. And um, I'll show you guys another way you can disable it if you do not have it on your game you settings like myself. But what you guys can do is basically, um, it'll be linked down below in the description. So what it's going to be is um, a command line argument, which you probably haven't ever seen before. Uh, you guys probably do have command line arguments, but this is one you probably don't have. You guys will open up your Epic Games Launcher. You guys then want to go to settings right here. Scroll down to where it says um, Fortnite. Click it down and you should have this ticked already with a few command line arguments in. You guys may not already have it ticked and that's completely fine. Um, yeah, if you don't have a tick, that's completely fine. Just um, tick it and then you can insert what I tell you to put in there. It'll be linked down below. Like, it'll, it'll, um, it'll be in the description at the top. So just copy it and then paste it here. So what it is, it's dash no r hit. Oh, sorry, r h i and then thread. So basically no r hit h red. <laughs> and then what you guys gonna do? As soon as you've done that, back like back out like a little bit there and just go back. And um, as you guys can see, no matter what, even if like I'll close off it right now. If I go back here, close off it. I'll open the Epic Games launcher once again. If I go here, settings, scroll down. Uh, 
they're still there. You know, even if you start your PC, once you put them in this box, it doesn't go and it goes onto your game files and it actually stops it from happening. So now, whatever you guys want to do, just load up your game usually and you will get see a difference in your frame. You'll get a more stable frame rate, you won't get as big FPS drops and it'll just be now disabled. This is some fun I kept away from us for a while and every update it just seems to get worse. So yeah, I thought I'd make this quick update video for you guys. Might not help you as significantly, significantly as it should do, but if you do, it doesn't help as much as you want. I've got two other video links down below where I have done FPS increase packs and I have done a lot to optimize my game as well. So yeah, check them out. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, post notes on, all of that good stuff. But yeah, it's been your boy Farfetch and yeah, peace. Hey guys, what's poppin'? This is your boy, uh... What the fuck is my name? <clears throat> Alright. Hey guys, this is Nasty, Farfetch's editor. If you guys like the editing and in all the stuff like this, you know, uh, make sure to check me out. I'm in the description. Just leave me a sub. Hope you guys have a nice day. Mother. She told me that it's all.